What's that sound? Better not be a giant yeti. Damn it! This is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Where we've got to fight Umaro! Umaro Uno, or whatever he wants to call himself. He's kind of berserked there. So let's berserk him some more! That's a strategy for victory! And then cast Phantom on ourselves and make us pretty much invulnerable. Yeah. What can I tell you, viewers? They did it again! They made a boss susceptible to berserk or mute, and this is what happens in real life when things go wrong. So let's cast... Well, yeah, he's weak to fire, obviously. Uh, he's a yeti. Come on. Or at least he looks like one. So throw fire swords at him. Uh, I heard that uh, if you imp him, he'll, like, auto-critical every time. But uh, we got him. Easy enough. Yay! We killed Mog's Sasquatch friend. Even Mog was getting in on the action there. Oh, I guess we have to talk to him, huh? And what's with all these bo uh, bone carvings or axes or stuff? Oh, yeah, right. Mog can talk with uh, other creatures, huh? Not just humans, huh? Hey, hey, all right, a Sasquatch. Unfortunately, he is not very good, and as a result, I will never use him. Umaro is a weird character. He has, depending on the relics you equip on him, he has four different attacks that are kind of like a berserker, and you can't really boost the power of the attacks. They're not even that strong, really. And he can't equip espers. It's pretty bad, and you can't change his equipment around or anything. Uh, I don't know why they thought that would be a good idea, but... Well, there you are. We've made it out of the mines there, and I think that's everything I want to do in Narsh, but uh, there's a few thi things I want to upgrade at the Coliseum, so I'll just uh, meet you over there, maybe show a couple battles if I need to. All right, we've made it to the Coliseum, and I've got Edgar set up and ready for battle. Let's bet that Ragnarok to get a secret item. Whatever could that be? Let's find out. This guy's weak to Pearl, which is one of the reasons why I'm using Edgar. Uh, standard Dragoon setup, uh, Pearl Lands, Genji equipment. Uh, you do want a Flame Shield, though, for his Flare Star. Now, the only problem is that he does have an instant death attack, and he also can cast Flare. Uh, you could equip like a wall ring or a safety bit to protect against those, but really, once you get Edgar in the air, you've basically won anyway. So, I don't really care to do that. Uh, there's a Coliseum guide on GameFAQs that has some really good information about that. Go! Go, Edgar! You can basically tell you've won if you get uh, Pearl to work with Pearl Lands. And we've got the Illumina! Does that belong to the Illuminati? No. No, it's just an ordinary sword. But uh, it, it's the best sword in the game, so let's find it at the bottom of my inventory. Wow, look at those stats. Max battle power, 50% magic evade and regular evade, so it even works in the Game Boy Advance version there. Plus seven all stats. I think it even works with, from the back row. The only drawback to it compared to the Ragnarok is that it uh, casts Pearl randomly instead of Flare. But it's still way better, so I really like that. And I want to uh, use Edgar again to fight another battle here, but... Um, I want to take a quick pause break. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I just made one minor change to Edgar here. Uh, well, first, bet the gauntlet. We're going to be getting a thunder shield from this battle. But uh, anyway, I equipped Edgar with the force armor because that will cut the elemental damage that this guy can deal to you in half. He has a lot of elemental attacks, so that's why. Uh, thunder shield would be good if you didn't bet them all away like I did. <laughs> But, well, oh well, I already did that. So, now we've just got to wait for Edgar to get in the air, and this guy is relatively easy to take care of. No instant death attacks or anything that's, you know, insane. Stop it with the Jason mask, Edgar. Get in the air. You should play that song, Jump. The one that they made me play in band for uh, basketball games and stuff. Man, if I knew I had to do all that stuff, I wouldn't have been in band in high school. 
oh well, it was fun anyway, but uh, yeah, having to do all that stuff, that was not fun. Your flight will be landing shortly, Vectagoil, but you may be experiencing some turbulence. Yay, we got the Thunder Shield. So Now I'm going to bet that for a Genji Shield off screen, because I've already shown that one. And There's one more thing I want to get while I'm here. Okay, now for this one I want South, but I think I need to really show you her setup this time around. Basically my setup for her for this battle is to max out her uh, Magic Evade, uh, Marvel Shoes, Hero Ring. Uh, let's take a look at the setup there. Now maximum Magic Evade is 120... Stop playing around with the bag, kitty! Maximum Magic Evade is 128% for some reason, so... That's the way it is, and you should be able to avoid most of this guy's attacks and do this quite reliably. So basically, bet a ninja star, put Celis in the middle of the action there, and you should be able to survive this battle pretty reliably. The nice thing about this one is with the Illumina is that I get guaranteed, uh, well, it has so much evade, but um, it has m m guaranteed magic evade now, so I can avoid a lot of Chaos Dragon's attacks. Uh, one of them is called Cinderizer, which is instant death, and it cannot be blocked with the uh, Memento Ring, I don't think. So, um, basically, all you gotta do is get two hits in on him, and you should be able to kill him. And you turn him into Tax Stars, uh, the Ninja Stars, into Tax Stars, which are a little stronger for Shadow there. Uh, since you can buy ta Ninja Stars pretty cheap, it's a cheap way of getting some good damage out of Shadow there. Uh, probably the best weapon you could throw with him that you could buy is a Falcon Sword, but they just cost too much. Um, the best weapon in the game, I think, are Imp Halberds. They're a spear that you can throw. But I think you need... Oh, what is it? They're a rare, rare steel to get. So they're pretty unreliable to get. So whatever you like, this is the way I like to do it. That would have killed me if I didn't have maximum magic evade. And Salus has taken a good long time getting up off her ass killing this guy. There we go. Got him. Uh, he can also cast Meteor, which if I took a couple hits of that, I probably wouldn't survive, but this is a pretty reliable way of getting Tax Stars, so I'm going to get about 20 or 30 of those, whatever, and then we're going to finally move on with some more side quests. We really should be going for more characters, but as long as we're on the way, or in the area, you know, let's head over here. This is the old Opera House. Fortunately, not everything was completely destroyed around it. So let's take a look around. See how the opera's going. What's going on? Uh-oh. Doesn't sound like good things are going on here. They still got the same music as before. There's a dragon on the stage. Okay. So what do you want me to do about it? And they've still got the orchestra playing there in the background. Uh, by the way, here's my setup for uh, the dragon here. Uh, basically, Gaia gears all the way around. Everything else, pretty standard. Nothing too special there. Although I do got Genji gloves on uh, lock there. Usually I don't like doing that in the world of Ruin. Oh. The world of Ruin. There we go. Sorry, I thought it was the, the fourth switch on the right there. Okay, let's try this now. It's boss time, the dirt dragon. He is susceptible to wind, so uh, you may even want Mog to use his wind, um, what is it, his wind song, but I don't think so. Now remember those blossom knives? Remember those blossom knives? There we go. That I bought earlier in the game? Well, those are wind elemental, so that'll be very useful for this boss fight here. And I'll just have Terra sit on the sidelines here. All right, go Mog. Not bad, better than a sharp stick in the eye. See, a couple blossoms ought to take care of this guy. I don't even need uh, Terra to do anything here. Just uh, get back to Shadow's turn. One more blossom ought to take care of this guy. Yeah, you see, that's why I got the guy gears equipped, because this guy has, well, Earth Elemental attacks. And apparently, for some reason, he has float status. I don't know why, but. Uh, I guess it protects him from his own attack. I mean, I would think they would make him absorb his own element, but whatever. Yay, we took care of yet another dragon, and we got a Magus Rod. If only we had a character who could use that weapon. Where can we find those characters? 
find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.